Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Sorry this is going to be a bit of a shorter one, I've been dividing my time between the IBM ThinkPad as well as the Apple Emate videos that I've got coming in the next few weeks. But in the meantime, we're going to be taking a look at a $30 netbook that I got off of eBay. Is it any good? Let's find out. At first glance it's actually rather compact, and considering this is nearly 10 years old, I'd say the designers age pretty well. Even though this is definitely a small laptop, it has a great selection of ports including Ethernet, VGA, an SD card reader, and a total of 3 USB 2.0 ports. It is also in excellent cosmetic condition, it has hardly been used by the look of it. This netbook came pre-installed with Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3, which sadly is no longer supported by Microsoft. What can you actually do on it though? Well, playing games on Steam is out of the question since Steam no longer runs on Windows XP. Simple 3D games such as Minecraft can be played on here, although the frame rate is quite terrible, I was getting around 4 frames per second, but this is likely due to the very weak integrated graphics in this system. This netbook has a single core 2 threaded Intel Atom N450 CPU clocked at 1.66 GHz. This low wattage chip is still fine for basic web browsing, and the whole experience while running Windows XP is surprisingly zippy. This particular netbook has the maximum supported 2GB of DDR2 RAM and a 160GB WD Blue hard disk. The RAM is easily upgraded by removing this small panel on the base of the unit. So, can it run YouTube? The answer is actually surprisingly yes, even in HD. Another strong point to this laptop is the battery life. Lasting just over 4 hours for a laptop that's nearly 10 years old is pretty good, so it would definitely be ideal for both school and work. However, the keyboard on this device feels very cramped and honestly is not pleasant to type on. The trackpad on this laptop is also usable, but due to its very small size is not very good. Viewing angles are also another weak point on this laptop. Back in 2010, budget laptop screens for the most part were pretty terrible. While this is a widescreen display, the resolution is only 1024 by 600 and the brightness is not great either. So, would I recommend an old Atom powered netbook like this? If you can find one cheap, and one that actually has good battery life, I'd have to say yes. As long as you don't plan on doing much more than web browsing or using older programs, you would definitely find a netbook similar to this very usable. The small size also makes this laptop excellent for school and perfect for long car trips. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I've got a few more coming real soon. If you've liked what you've seen, definitely feel free to leave a like and if you want to see more, definitely consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.